So, at five weeks pregnant, my husband and I experienced a miscarriage. It was unexpected, it was heartbreaking. Um, one of the hardest things that we have gone through outside of, you know, obviously going through the NICU uh, with our son Jackson, it was very hard to deal with. But I just want to encourage someone who might be facing the same thing right now. I just want you to know that you are not alone, that you are amazing, that you are beautiful, and that you didn't do anything wrong. That is something that I feel is very important to know. You didn't do anything wrong, and there is no shame in what you're going through. Don't be ashamed to talk about it. Don't be ashamed to feel what you're feeling because losing a baby is heartbreaking. It's one of the most heartbreaking things that I think a person will ever experience and endure. Outside of it being physically painful, it is emotionally painful. So I don't want you to feel shame behind it. I don't want you to feel um, like you failed or that your body failed. That is a lie from the devil. And I just want to, I just want you to, to let yourself feel sad if you feel sad. Feel all those feelings, feel mad, feel, feel betrayed by whatever, your body. Um, allow yourself time to heal. But I don't want you to stay there. I don't want you to stay in that, that, that mucky place of feeling bad and feeling sorry for yourself. I, like I said, I understand. I know it hurts because I just went through it, but I'm finding that there can still be joy, that you can still have hope, that you can still have faith, that you can still smile. Um, and that's not to say that every moment is going to be the happiest moment or that every moment you're going to not think about your baby that, you know, could have been, but I just want you to feel loved and and safe in sharing your story. Please don't don't hide behind behind your story. Don't hide behind your scars. Share that because there's someone who is who could be looking to you for hope. There's someone who needs what you have. And I don't want you to you know be in such a down you know down space and 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 disposition that you know, that you won't live. I want you to live. There can still be joy in your journey. There is beauty in, in, in the hard, in the, in, the, in the painful moments. You can still have happiness. You can still find peace. And that is what I'm hoping and praying for, for you, is that you will find peace. I'm finding peace in, in the small things, in the little things, in the smile of my son, and in the warmth of my husband's embrace and going to Starbucks and getting a yummy vanilla latte and just remaining hopeful and knowing that God has the final say and that God holds the cards to my future. He is protecting my womb. He is protecting my future kids and he is doing the same for you. And I just want you to find that thing that gives you peace. I want you to find that thing that gives you joy. And I want you to focus on the good things. Focus on what brings you happiness and know that better days are ahead. Your trouble is not gonna last always. This is a storm, it's a storm. And storms don't last always. At the end of the day, a storm comes and a storm goes. And what do you get at the end of that storm? You usually get a rainbow. So what am I wishing for for you? I'm wishing you peace. I'm wishing you joy. And I'm wishing you love. And most importantly, I'm wishing that your rainbow will come. There can be joy. Listen to me when I tell you. There can be joy. Cry if you have to. Be sad if you have to. But at the end of the day, do not lose hope. Hold on to your hope.